Hello, good morning. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I am from the Blu-ray uh, Twin Flames, uh, the Magdalene Joshua Soul Group of Illumin Twin Flames. I am also, uh, I've also been to the New Earth briefly, um, but I do also carry other rays. And many of you who carry multiple rays are actually becoming rainbow rays. So um, this video is very specifically for Blu-ray Twin Flames, but it's actually for everybody. And even if you're not a Twin Flame, you may learn some things. So, you know, everybody's welcome to watch. Uh, there's a thing to know, though, and that is that many Blu-ray Illumin Twin Flames have been here. Many of them were hurt or damaged during the fall of Atlantis and some of you the fall of uh, Lemuria, Lemuria and Atlantis. Some of the stuff, it's become the stuff of legends. Some of you are the stuff of legends. You are the magnificent lovers that songs have been written about. You are the magnificent warriors that legends are told about and this has been passed down now there's a reason for that that is because we were fifth dimensional ascended beings uh, some of us fell I personally that is my own uh, history but it's also ancient history and we are now at the point of being enabled and enabling ourselves to uh, for Illumin Blu-ray Twin Flames yes resurrect other people are lightening up becoming enlightened or ascending there is a gift that is being given that we've created and it is a gift of new life meaning what does that mean it means having a brand new light body so it's a brand new blueprint for a light body it's a brand new template for living it's a template for relationship for relating to everything not just relationships with other people this is going to be for relating to water to air and what are some of those relationships what is a human can you do in the air you got to get on a plane or you got to strap on a parachute with your new template your new blueprint your new light body you'll be able to fly in the air so a lot of what's been going on for people over the past two years has been divesting themselves of everything that doesn't work so if you have met your beloved or become aware of them or become awakened activated it's on it's on there is no stopping this there's no turning back the clock people can drag their feet they're really delaying their own timelines is all they're doing because this was the original plan the original plan and why we came here to earth is because earth herself was wanting to be the brand new central Sun and in order to make that happen that required uh, to uplift her to another level how do you do that you need bunches of entities to do that you actually need about 12 uh, something like 10 billion right now we've got you know about 7 billion and some unseen in the atmosphere right around here so some of this I just know for some of you people watching this is like pie in the sky and you're saying to me but Patricia I just want to have a cup of coffee with my beloved I just want to wake up with them no you don't you think that's what you want because for some of you maybe that's as good as it gets maybe that's as good as it's gotten and I'm here to tell you that what's in store for you is actually beyond that what's in store for you is actually the ability to heal to be self-protecting, to uh, create, to magically create things, to have the desires of your heart manifest. And some of you are seeing some of that happen. And I applaud you because this has been a tough road. This has been a tough road to hang in here and you're starting to see some of your abundance starting to flow to you. There's also people who are wondering, 
Why has everything stopped? Why has the rug been pulled out from under me? Why, you know, why is everything I'm touching turned to dust? There's a reason for that too, because there are people, uh, there's a sequence to this. There's a orchestration. There is a grand, magnificent orchestration happening at another level, but it is touching down here. We've also lifted the planet, and we are no longer living in 3D. And for those of you with your angel senses really aware, and for some of you that's been since you were a child, you will know that there's a split in the consciousness. There's actually people that you're kind of wondering, why aren't they getting it? Now, here in the United States, we had sort of uh, not a full nationwide election, but an election in the middle of the, the president's term here. And it was a sweep. And there's a lot of people who were affected by it. And there's a lot of people doing the mental spinning of like, oh, God, there's people that are acting like the sky is falling. Oh, my God, Chicken Little, the sky is falling. Oh, my God, the Republicans are in charge. What's going to happen? Well, actually, we've had Republicans in charge. We had the Bush administration. Look what happened there. History is repeating itself. But here's the difference. We've now passed through the gate. And some of those people that you think are not awake, they're going to start waking up. And what's going to happen when people in an office start to wake up? You know, what is it going to take here? There is a plan. And you have to trust in your own personal plan. What is your personal plan? What is it that you know? So I want to get back to the Blu-rays because a lot of you know you're here for something. What is your mission? Your mission is put your soul back together as one. That's your mission. That's your, that is first and foremost your mission. Everything else that you do or that you can create stems from putting your soul back as one. So I don't care if you're a successful lawyer, a successful actor, um, or non-successful. You are literally taking your heart and soul out of those things that you've plugged it into be it religion, the military, the government, your career. Um, honestly, other than the children, if you've put it with a soulmate, it's going to get unplugged because you're, you are taking that out. It's, you're putting it in the new. That's the plan. And we're making things new. We are renewing things. We are uh, getting rid of old things, we're transmuting it. Now, some of you do know what I'm talking about. Some of you have been the prototypers, the transmuters, the transporters, and the distributors, the grid point guardians, the gatekeepers, whatever you call yourself, the pay path pavers, the light workers. I'm a holder of the light. I hold a divine masculine. I hold a divine feminine. Some of you have a really good resume, and here at earth level, it looks like you do nothing. Don't kid yourself. Do not deceive your own self. You're doing something very huge, and it's about to shift here big time. And I'm here to tell you that the Twin Flame Blu-rays and other Illumin, and this is everyone in this rainbow spectrum, and especially the orange and the platinum rays. And the time is now. You, Some of you have been held apart for a really long time, and now is the time. Okay, You've been held apart until the right time. Some of you have been reluctant to go near your twin because you're afraid of abandonment or rejection. And the coming together, and you're kind of like, oh, oh, I'm going to call that per Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> and then you're like, wait a minute. I decided to. And what happens? The universe is holding you apart. Right? Why? 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 Why would, why would we be held apart? There's a reason. And it is everything I've been leading up to here, the firing of the grid.
So I will say this to you. You are not crazy. There, I said it again. You're not crazy. You're not deluding yourself. You're not imagining this. You're not imagining all of your nighttime travels or things to establish. You are well aware and your angel senses are telling you that what is going on is the truth of your heart. If your head is messing with you, do your best to get those thoughts out. You have to redirect yourself. This is where you really are stepping into your sovereignty and being a sovereign being. Being a sovereign being means that, yes, you're master of your own domain, but that means mastering your energies. Only you are in charge of controlling yourself, controlling your emotions, or dealing with your emotions. Now, the good news is some of those emotions are very manageable for a lot of you right now. If it's not, or if there's things that are coming up with your beloved, uh, maybe they're, they're still out there. Maybe they're drinking. Maybe they're, you know, doing foolish things. You know, and I will say this. There's, there's a thing that's going on. For a lot of you, you're twins, and yes, I have props here. <laughs> um, here's your twin. They're going along in their life. Da, 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 da. But their higher self is with them. There is continued guidance. There's always guidance. And, yeah, a lot of, a lot of people, and while these appear to be male action figures, I don't have any female ones, um, the thing about it is, is that, You've got people that have really had to entrench here in order to help this place ascend up. And now that they're lifting off, all of this crud is falling off. Don't be angry with them. Be of assistance to them. If you need to meet with them so that their higher self can integrate with them. And, you know, that's what you need to do. So that seems like a very simplistic illustration but I'm going to tell you something else here the um, the thing with the this time period going through November 1st and traditionally at the end of October this is traditionally and uh, people raised in a Celtic tradition or a certain religions do know this it's the thinning of the veils well guess what we're in the fourth dimension and the veil's really thin right now. So people who celebrate the Day of the Dead or All Saints Day or All Souls Day or Halloween, they know about this. And some people who are not, um, don't worry, I want to explain it to you. So if you're here on Earth and you're in the fourth and you've left third, you've already ascended. But where, where you really live is just beyond this veil. You're this close. You're this close. This is where you and your twin really live. Okay? That's where you and your twin really live. You actually have a shorter distance. Your bodies are lighter. Your abilities are brought out. There's a little thing I'm going to show you. And I have said this many times in my videos. But I'm going to say it again, you are all things great and all things small. And so size, size is one of the keys. And how would you get through a membrane? Does anyone remember their high school biology osmosis? You know, you, t you take a bag with salt water and then you stick it in some water and little by little the salt gets into all the water. Guess what? If you make yourself teeny tiny, you make your consciousness, you can go through, okay? That is one of the ways. That's not the only way. And some of you have been so upset, you've been saying, Patricia, if I'm not here to fulfill my sole purpose, I might as well leave. And it's not coming from a place of despair. It's not coming from a place of uh, really disease or depression or anything like that. It's coming from almost a sense of like, well, you know, I, I just can't see it any other way. I don't see how this is going to happen. I may as well leave. There's another thing here. Suicide, as you once knew it, it's not going to be possible to kill yourself and 
what what I've been made to understand, and I have had friends that have killed themselves, and I have communicated with them. You come back in, and you finish your work, because this is where the new body and the new blueprint and the new template is being distributed. It's right here at this level. And so mastering that new body is going to become the new focus. So as we move along here, there will be shifts in health care, in maintenance, um, staying healthy, getting healthy, staying healthy, shifts in uh, having fun. There's a lot of you that are not playing and having fun, but I'm going to tell you, your angel body needs it. Your light body needs it. You need to balance work and play and work and play. And so does your twin. Sometimes for your twin, maybe they think they're having fun going out drinking, but that's not actually angelic fun. And you do have choices to make with this. Um, there are people who have chosen and they've chosen to be with a soulmate. And I'll say this, this is my understanding. And if you, you again, it's important that you know the truth of your heart. So if, it, if what I'm saying isn't your truth, you have to know your truth. Twin Flames is not a dating service. So a lot of times... The person who is your twin may have what seems like opposite things. You're here to collapse that stuff. You're here to get that system out of your union. Or you're here to get that career out of your union. You're here to get those people out. Or the military out. Or the government out. And you're doing your best with it. If you're with a soulmate and you're a Blu-ray you've, and you've met your twin, you've already activated yourself. It's inevitable. You will be with your twin. All you've done is delay your own timeline. If you can't feel your twin, it's up to you to grab on again. And please know that taking, you're in new energy. You are in your new life. Okay, so what does this mean? This is your brand new fresh start. This is your new life. Your previous life prior to twin or with soulmates or in a marriage, prior to August of this year, August, about August 8th of 2014, that was when we split the timelines. So many of you are in your new life. So are you going to let people who may be with their twin talk you out of your destiny, talk you out of what you know as the truth of your heart? Are you going to let your own head or their head say, oh, yeah, I'm not feeling the connection. It's not for this lifetime. Don't kid yourself. Go into your heart and really feel that out and feel like, oh, they're pushing me away again. I'm not falling for that crap. Fine. You don't want to do it by me talking to you. I'm going to do it this way, and I am just going to keep meeting with you and and we are going to have a lot of back and forth here. And it might be a little extra work. Yes, it will. But guess what? You do have the ability to do that. Now, one of the ways that I found out for myself that I do have uh, what people would call mediumship abilities or the ability to, you know, be doing this is uh, when my own dad died. I got the phone call, and he had been pretty sick, but he actually died pretty peacefully. And a neighbor uh, called, and his my dad's wife was at the store. Neighbor called and said, you know, your dad just passed. And my head was like, da 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 And I had to stop myself, and I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. How can you be this grand, glorious, magnificent being, transmuting stuff, doing things you know you're aware of certain things, and now your dad dies and you're going to lose it. So I laid down and I actually connected with my father. And it turns out his spirit was actually confused. He thought he could get back into his body. I mean, he was he was just, just outside. He had a feeling of, of, should I get back in the body? That's what it seemed like. And I could feel and sense and see other entities, they're waiting to receive him and take him through. And I told him, go there, go to, at that point, it was, you know, so-and-so. Go to so-and-so. I could sense their presence. I got the name. Go there. And it was actually not until about three months later that his spirit showed up to me in full angelic mode, full angelic form. 
and we he had a communication and he let me know some of the things so really this is to me honestly i am very humbled and yet amazed and can't even believe that that this is what's here for us after all the promises i grew up with as a child but it is so please believe it for yourself the time is now and it is the right time so thanks so much for watching um thanks so much for everyone who bought my webinars they are of assistance there's going to be more assistance there's going to be more people who have some of the uh things the tools the uh ways for your brand new body and everyone who has contacted me I'm not immune to these moon energies and eclipses and stuff like that. I've had my own stuff, and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for hanging in here. Thank you for being the love, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye now.